man, what's going on? Battery kind of low. Hey, quick update, fam. Hey, I got to take the car over to 650 today. I uh, got a little gas leak from the gas tank. Already got the part, you know what I'm saying? So, all right, man, my camera, my battery was dead once again. But yeah, man, it's my lunch time. Get half of work today. I got to get this fixed, man. This car is dumping out a lot of fuel. So, um... I got the I got the piece and everything. About to take it over to 650. And the only reason why, you know, I could have did this at home and stuff, but I'm gonna take this to 650 because uh, I don't have my uh, my driver door window don't go down no more. I have the motor with me right here, so I got the motor and everything, and I got the um, the rivets right. But the rivets for Mustangs are actually too big. It's not the same size as, as normally. So um, they have the right size gun. Aaron had my gun. We could, Aaron didn't find it yet, so I'm gonna just go over to 650 and take care of this, man. And I still have the uh, the window stripping too to put up in there. So I know y'all be hearing the window rattling and stuff, so yeah. So let the car warm up. So y'all already know this scene right here. Ooh, I need to empty up some space on here before I ain't got no space to record. <laughs> but man, y'all already know this man is right here. What's up, fellas? What's up, what's up? If y'all ain't tapped into this man channel, y'all better go tap in right now, man. He dropping that sauce. On his on, on everything that he do, but even the numbers that he ganging on his own bills. You know what I'm talking about? But yeah, man, he gonna go ahead and help me today get this tank from stop leaking. And it's just leaking. Like at first it was cool, but then when I went out to Tahoe, it got worse on the ride there. So now it's just time to really change it. And uh then we're gonna try to get the window motor done. Yeah, shit, take her back home. She's back. Yeah. <laughs> All dirty. <laughs> hey, look at her. Why you this? Woo! <laughs> nice and clean. Oh crap! You done ate good. <laughs> oh. I don't know. I was driving by and I smelled that charbroil. I was like, man, I gotta give you some of that. Oh yeah, they gonna give some of that that Burger King, huh? When I leave here, I'm about to go probably to a pressure washer and, wash and squirt all up at the bottom of this day. And you and Rick be like, damn, man, the bottom of your car. <laughs> I made sure I didn't come with a lot of gas, too, bro. It's probably like. We don't even gotta take it down. Oh, okay. It's probably like $20 worth of gas, and that's enough to give you here back across the bridge. <laughs> So my man got me up on the lift. You already know what we doing. You know what I'm saying? But we just found another problem right now. Actually, I've been seeing it, but it looked like it got worse. So let me show y'all. And he said I need to take it to the transmission place, right? And just have them split it. have split the case and... Uh... Yeah, because I'm leaking real bad, man. So he said have them split the case and reseal it. Because it's all dry up there. It's just from the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, we'll probably pull this box out, four bolts, and the shifter and drive shaft. Mm -hmm. And uh, take it to the take uh, it to the man. Have him get it done. Yep. Mm hmm. Yeah, I see it. Sheesh. That bitch original right there. Yeah, this been <laughs> here since the, you know this car was sitting since 2012 before I actually started doing things to it. So, oh yeah. Yeah, and I was I'm talking about this whole week uh, all last week and since we've been back from Tahoe, I've been wasting a lot of gas, bro Fuck that. It's five six dollars going out the bottom. I know bro. Every time I turn. Yeah, I put like three four dollars in at a time yeah. <laughs> Man all right, let me Oh filthy old dirty B Oh dirty girl Yeah, man. So I think after this, I'm about to take her back to Jesse. We got some more welding to do at the bottom. 
we got to fix the uh, driver's side floor. Just push it down some more so the subframe can line up correctly. And then it's going to be another episode. I'm back here with my man's getting that done. So, oh, yeah. you already know, man. Stay tuned. He's the only one that really gets to touch this car. It don't go to nobody else but me and him. <laughs> yeah. Little by little. Little by little. And paint shop. So, shit. Damn. <laughs> it didn't even go in. Oh, is that a different one? Huh? That was a different screw? No, no, no. Oh, that's oh. for the strap. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, it went in. That bitch is tight as fuck. <laughs> so, when we had put the music up in here, my music man had cut out a big, big little area. Because I'm, I'm thinking about adding more speakers in my door. You know, but, um,. He just cut out a little bit of area, so it's gonna actually make this easy for us to access and put the new motor in, and then put these jammies up in there. Like I said, Mustangs, they come with special screws for these, man, and these not the normal, these ain't the sizes that, that be on the gun. You gotta actually order a special gun to put these rivets in, so. Flexing. Oh, oh my bad. <laughs> oh my god, it just took us about 30 40 minutes just to put this thing up in here, man. Jeez. And check me out. Sweating like a dog. <laughs> got my boy sitting on his feet. Let's sit down, man. Well, we finally got it. But we got one more piece inside of there to tuck it in. <laughs> boy, it's been a wrestle, but uh got the new seal in on the window. And we're getting the new motor in because this motor had went out on me. So he's putting two in right now. Make sure, and then we're gonna make sure that the motor work and put the other two in. Yeah, it's use a little bit of a little bit of a tango. Mm-hmm. I'm back in the dough. I got AC again. <laughs> I got AC again. The window goes down. <laughs> and I was just happy it wasn't the switch. I was happy it was the motor and not just the switch, but me and Eddie had already tested it. Probably need some WD-40 or something in that joint, huh? Oh, yeah. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Hey, this truck right here actually sick as fuck right here. I like this. Hell yeah. Old school F-100. Sidestep. <laughs> Woo. I oh. just redid the intake for him. Yeah. Sealed it. Motherfucker was like 100 pounds. Damn. Cast iron. Damn. It's really good. Hell yeah. Not bad. Like a little work, work truck and shit. Mm-hmm. It's a nice ass truck, y'all. Nice little truck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> But man, my bands helped me out again, man. Thank you, bro. Yeah. Now I'm back on the road again, man. Y'all already know what's going on. I'm about to get my ass up out of here. On to the next little project. Yeah. Uh, that that the lift hit that arm. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was like, damn, what's that? Now I pulled the lift out. Oh, okay. Well, right, you already man. know what it is, man. Six fifty, y'all always do their thing. Like I keep telling y'all, go watch this man channel, man. Go subscribe right now, man. He do great things on his channel always honest about his work i'm gonna always be honest about his work there's only two people that get to touch this car me and him and you already know <laughs> what it is man let's get it <laughs> yeah. yeah man so y'all see i got that done um i might as well do the weather stripping next and uh you know but that window really needed this window was out so i'm happy to have my window back <laughs> i used to be sweating like crazy up in here on hot days, one window down, under window up, and with this window up, this thing was still feeling like a sauna. You know what I'm saying? But it's fixed now. So it's just on to the next, you know, getting this weather stripping and stuff in. And uh, yeah, try to get ready for another project or something. I know y'all wanna see something else, you know? So let's go.